Are you adding a bit of heaven or a bit of hell to this world? Inspired by a Rubin report with Ben Shapiro and Dr. Jordan Peterson. Point right up by Dr. Peterson. And uh, that, it makes me reflect on me. It makes me even think, you know, should I talk nicer to y'all guys? <laughs> should I use warmer and fuzzier words? Um, I think in a different state of um, being, environment, maybe I would. But as I keep on running into, keep on seeing, keep on experiencing more, uh, more headaches and um, escaping the clutches of the miserable. Come here and argue with me. No, come here and fight with me. No, come here and quit like me. Um, I'm gonna keep on going. Because I think there are people that may believe you are. Oh, look at it, man. This guy has nothing else better to do than just draw. Whatever, man. In the uh, careers that I've had, I've had men and women grab me, hold me. Hug me, thank me for being who I am. Some have called me an angel. Some have even called me a demon. Even for me at times, I think, you know, should I, um, just be a straight out fucking asshole because there seems like some, like the movie Blade said, some motherfuckers always want to ice skate uphill. And it's heading to deal with people like that. I think you want know, to be real selfish and just think about booty, getting paid, lying, cheat, cheating, and stealing, and becoming an evil car salesman. <laughs> and, and again, I remember the. Uh, People that have come across in my life that are doing what they can to live almost to the point of survival, almost. And I'm thinking, what well, fuck, man, these, these are good people, man. Maybe they're too humble to, um, maybe their hum humble and simple minds keep their lives, keeps their life somewhat uh, at a minimum, somewhat, somewhat. Because you don't want hardworking people to just be on Facebook, on the internets, the interwebs, and just, oh man, look at cat video, oh man, look at this. And uh, to believe the propaganda that's out there. I remember going to uh, well, Tijuana just recently, and 
<coughs> having the car radio on. You know, how do we get rid of poverty and make the world better, make Mexico better? It's, it's by taking care of the poor. And I'll vote for our party because we'll take care of it. And I think you fucking piece of shit. And I look around as I see the parts of Tijuana that have um, improvement. No, it's no government building. These are private businesses. Even the fucking local strip joint. I'm trying to think what was the name of it. I think it's deja vu. And seeing it outside uh, by the line to get into the US. Amazing um, outside. Asic statues. Uh, serpent heads. Another uh, historical, uh, stat historically, is it historically remember, historically accurate or historically referenced um, figures on the outside? And it looks like a temple. But damn, dude, that's probably a. Uh, Real expensive. It was built in the um, in the U.S. Union work, bricks and supplies, everything to be made in America. I'm pretty sure it would cost a lot more. But uh, now it came out dope. And no, it was not the government. Not the government fucking creating the jobs for the strippers, bringing in tourists. Pretty sure white boys. Not just white boys, but just motherfuckers across the border to get away from the wives. Listen to the radio and hear that shit. You know, some people could say, well, you know what? He's just, um, the owner of that bar is just uh, creating, uh, picking on women with low self esteem and just using them for sex objects, and once they get old, what are they gonna have? And I think. Man, it's up to them to save money. Well, what, do you want them selling fucking candies there on the fucking um, highway right there? Supply and demand. Let's get, let's ask, let's find out who this demand is. Because it's human demanding this shit. And I think some people can overlook that. It's like, well, who am I, man? I just serve coffee. I just am a Walmart reader. I'm just a burger flipper. I just scrub toilets. I just do this or that. I think it's as simple as saying good morning with eye contact with someone and listening for a re waiting to listen to it for a reply. It's on your fucking mind, motherfucker. And, um, I think 
think that'll scare away a lot of people, man. It may not create a world peace immediately, but it's a beginning to um, if it reinforces our structure of communication I think I don't think that that would be a bad thing Just complaining less. And I don't get paid more. How about just uh, asking the boss, hey boss, if I want to get a raise, what would I need to do? Instead of saying, well, it's almost Friday, do you really think I should be doing all this paperwork? I want to get paid more though. What else needs to be done? We're almost caught up with this work over here. You need a hand over here with something? One of the things for me that I learned later in life was uh, the useless useless visits of going to church and prayer, in my opinion. It's just from my own experience, and I'm I'm dissecting it my way. You could download the video or leave a comment and say why I'm wrong or whatever the fuck. But but imagine this drawing and other drawings, sketches, and I. Uh, Let's just say that I was, uh, instead of the camera being on this drawing here, I'm seeing in church saying, oh, la, 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 amen, woe is me, hallelujah, and the like. And then they say, you know what, I really, I'm going to pray that, um, you know, that my drawing desk has a Rick and Morty drawing finished complete so I could color it in and like my lunch is made, my breakfast is made, my dogs are fed and like I lose weight and I have a six pack and I have a lot of monies in my bank's account and you know, I want this and that so I'm just going to pray. You know, I should just stop drawing. As a matter of fact, let me just pray. Or is it more effective for me to uh, sit down and be like, all right, you know, well, actually, before I sit down, I think, well, let me see what I'm going to speak about. Because I could bore, I'm pretty sure bore a motherfucker by just uh, drawing and not saying shit and, and not acting human. Like, oh, man, he's there, look, look at him, man, he's all squared away, he's got not a worry in the world. in the world I should make another video called um, what questions are you asking because that that's how the um, the Rubin report had started with uh, asking questions and, and even me I, I don't know how I ask questions I don't ask, man. You know what? How, I feel pretty tired, but I don't know how tired I am. How tired I am that I 
don't know if I could put in another hour of drawing, another hour of work, another hour of training, another hour of getting organized. Oh, maybe two hours, three, four. What, what do you know? It's fucking, the sun's coming up. I got a lot of shit done. Take a nap and take on the next day now. And uh, learning by just um, trying and experiencing. And again, rain, rain into a bunch of stupid motherfuckers, I think. You know what? More of these fucking aids are gonna um, go poison me mentally. Uh, physically, if they could also, but you know what? What a shame would that be, you know? Because I've seen people, well, especially men, both men and women get poisoned. Ah, you know what? Well, you know, he, he's probably right, she's probably right. I'll probably not, I probably won't find better. Ah, you know what? They're probably right. I probably won't get the job. Ah, you know what? They're probably right. I shouldn't go to another continent, another country, and try to explore another state, another city, and try to learn. Ah, you know what? Maybe I should quit school because. Hey, I'm not meant to be a doctor, a lawyer, um, a scientist, this or that. Who am I? No one um, from my community has ever done that. No one on my block has ever done that. No one in my family has ever done that. Um, I was born and raised that way. Raised by Mama and Papa that it's impossible. By the grandparents that it's impossible. By the big brother, the big sister that it's impossible by the neighbor, by the uncle, by um, teachers that didn't care, by counselors or gym teachers says that you couldn't do it. Uh, the high school bully, the junior high school bully, and let's just say what, whatever sorts of people, right? And they quit, and they, they let the, the poison seep in. I, I know that I'm one jaded motherfucker. There's a enough sprinkles of optimism there to say hey, it is pretty fucked up, but it's not broken. And we can unfuck this. Oh man, dude, that, that's a lot of shit. You need to clean up, but it's possible. People that just uh, will tap out, man, or have tapped out. Just a thought. As my battery is about to die. <laughs> 